Hey there, I'm Kai from Nova. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Dex Hunter, the largest Dex aggregator on Cardano. Known for its unbeatable rates, real-time alerts, and user-friendly interface. In this video, we will explore the differences between a traditional Dex and a Dex aggregator, discuss when it's best to trade with Dex Hunter, and how you can elevate your trading experience. If you enjoy our content and want to keep up with future updates, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment, or consider delegating your ADA to our stake pool Nova. Let's dive into what Dex Hunter is all about. Imagine being in a marketplace wanting to buy apples. Instead of checking each stall individually for the best price, you have a friend who quickly does that for you, pointing you to where you can find the cheapest and best apples. While a single DEX might offer low fees, DEX Hunter, by aggregating different DEXs, minimizes the impact of your trade on market prices, which is often securing you a better deal, especially for large trades. DEX Hunter has its own utility token called Hunt. Holding Hunt in your wallet grants you access to swap discounts, premium features, DAP governance, and faster trades. Another significant advantage is DEX Hunter's straightforward and user-friendly interface allowing you to tap into the liquidity of multiple DEXs without the need to navigate each one individually. There are a lot of details about the token, their roadmap, and the team on their official website and social media channels available, which I'll link in the description below. The DEX Hunter team has also forged partnerships with prominent Cardano projects like TapTools and Xerberus, enhancing the platform's offerings. It has also encouraged many stake pool operators to join their node network. Delegating your ADA to any of them would result in increased trade speed. I would much appreciate it if you choose Nova. Let's navigate the app and make our first trade. To use the app, you first need to connect your wallet. If you're unsure how to do that, check out our DAP Connector video in the info card. The main page of Dex Hunter showcases several key metrics including a fear and greed index that gauges the market sentiment on Cardano. A high score indicates bullish market behavior, while a low score suggests increased selling pressure. This page will also show you which tokens are currently trending, as well as the most recent trades. The blue number reflects the percentage of global trades on Cardano that is conducted via Dex Hunter. The sidebar allows easy navigation through features like swap, orders, trends, cross-chain swaps, the partner's program, multi-charts, and baskets. Notably, the chain load indicator on the bottom left provides insights into the current congestion on the Cardano blockchain, affecting trade execution times. When trading tokens with the Dex Hunter dApp, you have the option of selecting a less distracting basic mode or the more information-rich pro mode. Turning it on will show an additional price chart for the token pair you want to trade, as well as the most recent orders in the order book. For more experienced traders, adjustable slippage settings are available. Depending on the token's liquidity and the token amount, Dex Hunter will automatically split the order among various DEXs, altering the percentages based on the price and the price impact at each DEX for this trade. Now select the token pair you want to trade. Clicking on details will reveal all of the specifics about this deal including the fees you will pay, how many more bonus tokens you will receive as a result of executing this trade, and much more. Because I'm broke as a joke, I will only swap a modest quantity of ADA. You can help me out here by delegating your ADA to our stake pool with the ticker NOVA. While we wait for the order to be executed, there are two other ways to trade your tokens on Dex Hunter. Limit order and the brand new DCA option for planning recurring transactions. The limit order differs from the regular order. Unlike a swap order, which allows you to buy or sell tokens across several DEXs, a limit order will only execute if certain conditions are met only on the designated DEX. You can either take profits and sell a token when the market hits a certain price, or you can stop losing money by selling the asset if the price falls below your threshold. 
If you want to purchase or sell a big number of tokens, Dex Hunter allows you to break your limit orders into up to 40 orders to decrease their impact on the market price. DCA or dollar cost average is one of Dex Hunter's newest features. Here you can schedule your recurring purchases or sales. Simply choose the number of tokens you wish to buy, the time interval, and the period. Before you proceed, keep in mind that this will send the entire amount to a smart contract, which will buy the token you have selected in chunks at the times you specify in this order. This is a pro feature, so use with caution. The order's history will show every order that has ever been executed on the chain using this wallet. The table is extremely well organized, allowing you to easily separate all of the key information. If you have done a lot of trading and want to identify specific trades, you can sort your orders by type, asset, status, and time. If you need to report your taxes, Dex Hunter can export all of your trades to a CSV file. Dex Hunter's beta feature for cross-chain swaps enables trading across different blockchains. Currently, four wallets are supported, with more on the horizon. If you're interested in a tutorial on this feature, let me know in the comments below. Another fantastic feature of Dex Hunter, MultiChart, enables you to display up to eight token pair price charts side by side, which is useful for experienced traders or just plain old chart junkies like me. You must have 200 hunt tokens or more in your wallet to use this feature. As a result, you will have more insights about the market and the assets you are trading. Switching between the chart and order sections is made easy for your convenience. Custom baskets offer a convenient way to manage and rebalance your portfolio by allowing you to buy up to 10 tokens in a single transaction. In this example, I will create a basket with some classic DeFi tokens. As you can see, the process is very simple and easy to understand. Just add your favorite tokens to the basket, give the basket a name, assign percentages, and Dex Hunter will handle the rest, saving your configurations for future trades. Thank you for joining me today to explore Dex Hunter and its multitude of features designed to enhance your Cardano trading experience. If you found this guide helpful, please share it with your friends and consider delegating your ADA to Nova. If this video has added value to you and you would like to stake too, feel free to come on board. Follow us on X for the latest news about Cardano and our pool. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server.